1 pm pakistan standard time assalamu alaikum this is radio pakistan the news read by abdul rafi sohail first the headlines president and prime minister in their messages on the eve of new year have stressed the need to work together to make pakistan a cradle of peace prosperity and development Pakistan and India have exchanged lists of nuclear installations and facilities under the agreement on prohibition of attacks against nuclear installations and facilities. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Indian troops in their unabated acts of state terrorism martyred 214 innocent people during the last year. And North Korea has called for an exponential increase in the production of nuclear warheads and ordered the development of a new intercontinental ballistic missile. And now the news in detail. President Dr. Arif Alvi and Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif have felicitated the nation and international community on beginning of the new year and prayed for development, progress and prosperity of Pakistan as well as peace in the world. In their separate New Year's messages, they stressed the need to work together to make Pakistan the cradle of peace, prosperity and development. The president in his message said the nation faced various challenges last year but overcame difficult situations due to the hard work, sacrifice, determination and resilience. He said in the new year as a nation we must set our priorities correctly to overcome the challenges facing the nation. The president said we need national solidarity, unity, discipline, persistent hard work, passion and dedication to make Pakistan a prosperous, developed, democratic and stable country. The prime minister in his message hoped that the new year would prove to be the year of ending hunger, war, terrorism, crime, sectarianism and class division from the whole world including Pakistan. The prime minister reiterated his resolve to work day and night for improvement of economic situation of the country, rehabilitation of flood victims, end of terrorism and reduction in sufferings of the people. In a tweet today, Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif has reiterated the resolve for the new year to use his energy and time to get people out of difficulties and put Pakistan on the path to growth and stability. He said 2022 was yet another tough year for Pakistan as the worst flooding in history aggravated our economic challenges. Under the Prime Minister's relief package, essential food items will be provided at subsidized rates at the retail stores corporation outlets across the country from today. Keeping in mind the difficulties and problems faced by the people, Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif has announced to provide targeted subsidies on basic food items through utility stores corporation. These items include flour, sugar, ghee, rice and pulses. Consumers enrolled in the Benazir Income Support Program are eligible to get the food items on subsidized rates from the utility stores outlets. Meanwhile, the utility stores corporation has asked its consumers and customers to SMS their computerized national identity card numbers on their mobile phones to 5566 and they will receive a one-time password after which they can avail subsidy and purchase items. Pakistan and India have exchanged lists of nuclear installations and facilities under the agreement on prohibition of attacks against nuclear installations and facilities. The agreement on prohibition of attacks against nuclear installations and facilities between Pakistan and India was signed on 31st December 1988 and ratified on 27th January 1991. The agreement inter alia provides both countries shall inform each other of the nuclear installations and facilities falling within its definition. On 1st January of each calendar year pursuant to the agreement the list of nuclear installations and facilities in Pakistan was officially handed over to a representative of the Indian High Commission in Islamabad at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs today simultaneously the Indian Ministry of External Affairs also handed over the list of India's nuclear installations and facilities to a representative of Pakistan High Commission in New Delhi In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Indian troops in their unabated acts of state terrorism martyred 214 innocent Kashmiris, including one woman and five young boys during the last year. According to a report released by the research section of Kashmir Media Service today, 57 of the martyrs were killed in fake encounters and custody. The report said the killings by the troops, paramilitary and police personnel rendered 13 women widowed and 35 children orphaned while 10 women were molested abused or disgraced by men in uniform during the last year 
North Korea leader Kim Jong-un has called for an exponential increase in the production of nuclear warheads and ordered the development of a new intercontinental ballistic missile. In a statement, he said North Korea plans to launch its first military spy satellite soon. North Korea test-fired more than 70 missiles last year. And now, cricket. The second cricket test of two match series between Pakistan and New Zealand will be played in Karachi from tomorrow. Earlier, the first test match ended in a draw. And that is all for now. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radiopakistannewsofficial.